looks like. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like so relaxing. all the stuff we've, sh we've got people I got it shared y'all chats should be up oh I didn't know I guess this is oh yeah <laughs> welcome everybody to the stream it's a very special episode today we're imprisoned in the Void Pyramid for crimes against the Prime Pharaoh. This dungeon hurdles through the outer space deep void. <laughs> Criminals and beasts prowl its labyrinth chambers. You must defeat the demon warden, Amit, and escape. How's it going, everybody? I'm your host, Big Daddy Underpants. Drift White. Drift White. <laughs> and I'm joined with Lady Antipodum over here. Yeah. Alright, it's enough of that. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Nat, Major Wolf, what's up, dude? Alexander Burkle, Flesh to Dust. Hello, hello, hello. Cosmic Nobab. We're going to be playing a RPG. This is a first impressions on a game called... Pyramid, pyramid. Void Pyramid. Yeah. Void Pyramid. <clears throat> we got it. And I think this is a demo, but we'll see how long it goes. I like that there's purple. Yeah, there is some purple here. There's purple in this one. I dyed my hair purple yesterday. T dyed her hair purple. It's like <laughs> mostly black, but it has like purple highlights. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. cool. Looks pretty cool. It came out pretty good. Yeah, I did. I like. We're gonna post out. some pictures to the Discord. the Discord later. Yeah. And whoever else she it, feels like posting those pictures. It was a completely impulsive thing, or else it wouldn't have happened. You were shopping and you saw it, and you're like, yeah. "Ooh!" Yeah, I saw the purple <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, pretty purple." Pretty, I need my <laughs> hair. My dog game. It's going. I mean, I decided to completely and utterly tear down all the aesthetic and rebuild it, which Twice. is a very yes. Actually, this is the third time I'm working on that, and I've and I've decided I'm not happy with the portraits again. So I'm like studying how to make faces. A you should, way. Uh, I, you know, sometimes I I talk to people about this, and then they'll work on their project for several months, and then <clears throat> after those several months, they they think, oh well, now I'm so much better than I was so many months ago. I could do it better. I don't like the old ones. That's great and all, but you'll never finish it if you don't break that cycle. I know. It keeps looking better and better, but will it ever get finished? Right. You have to break <laughs> that cycle and say, you know what? I need to move on to another project. I need to get some return. Yeah. I need to put this game up for sale. I need to move on. Right. Uh, and the thing is... Accept. You need to accept what you've, you've already made. Right. And, and, and I, I don't just plan on redoing the entire aesthetic, but I also want to add a little bit. So it's, you know, i got to get moving on it if mm -hmm. I want to get it finished. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a little chunk of change if you put it out, you know? It's got a, a storyline, a really good storyline, and the the maps are beautiful. They're all made with, uh, what is that called? I forgot again. Tile D. Tile D, that's right. Yep. And people seem to like it, the, the first crap version that I put out in 25 days. It was very defaulty and basic, but yeah. it's still, like the storyline and the way that it was written like it was moving it was good so you just you know spackle some polish on that and keep the story yeah uh, it was great watching people play I, my mom came over and I was like you should play my game that I made and I was like it makes some people cry and she goes I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry and so she plays the game and at the end she didn't cry she sobbed <laughs> she goes I'm not crying <laughs> It was funny. <laughs> I didn't cry. I had salt in my eyes at the, at the end because I was like uh, eating french fries, so I got salt in both yeah, my eyes. Yeah, salt in the eyes really hurt. That's all it was. Everybody knows this. Yeah. Com common cause for tears. It was just salt. <laughs> How's it going, Justin? So yeah, yeah that's, that's how my game's going. 
Hey Heartless, how are you doing? What's up, guy? All right, let's get started. We're gonna play Void Pyramid. If you like us to play your game on stream, that's the reward for the twenty dollar tier on my Patreon. Links are in the description below. You could also join our Discord and play our bots and get points and exchange those points for a first impression video. But without further ado, let's play Void Pyramid. I found this game on itch.io um, like ten minutes ago and downloaded it really quick and put it in and and uh, got a, a thumbnail of the inch of the the title art. And uh, it just automatically went to this after I pressed uh, minimize. And you know, I gotta say, with all that purple, it has to be a winner. Well, let's see. Story. In the year of power, the glorious river kingdom dominated all life during this golden age. The exalted engineer built the Void Pyramid. The pyramid was a spacefaring arcology where priests and scientists developed wonderful weapons. In the dark millennium, the heathen legions rose against the river kingdom. The kingdom was annihilated by a thousand years of war. The Void Pyramid was reduced to a derelict hulk by an engineered plague gone awry. In the Ultimate Age, the magnificent Prime Pharaoh took power and rebuilt the River Kingdom. The Void Pyramid was converted to a penitentiary. Prisoners of war and deranged super soldiers were condemned there, uh -oh. guarded by bestial monstrosities. Forgotten in the outer space deep void, the prisoners and guards of the Void Pyramid went feral. They became Australia. <laughs> it was a, it was just like a place for British to, the British to bring yeah, their prisoners. They would send their exiles there. <laughs> Anarchy and bloodshed reigned. Now the Rune Pyramids is populated by men and beasts struggling to survive at any cost. You are imprisoned and must escape. Okay. Instructions. Controls. Arrow keys. Enter space. Escape. Interact with objects, objects in the dungeon. Okay. The treacherous Void Pyramid is rife with dangerous obstacles and enemies you must grow in power and overcome increasingly deadly challenges to escape. The Dream Tomb is in the Pyramid's first chamber. This machine restores your life and allows you to save. You must select one of the four save slots to save your data. Battle. Sometimes you earn a random reward for surviving a battle. You may gain stats or money, which is Debin. Debin? Debin. 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 <laughs> you will randomly be punished for dying in battle. What? Is you will be dying? randomly punished for dying in battle. Isn't you may lose stats. <laughs> the following stats represent your effectiveness in battle. Life, uh, attack, defense. Your brawn, wits, and agility are tested to conquer various challenges. They also have special functions. I thought that said brown. Your brown, chance for an instant <laughs> win battle. Wits, chance for battle reward. Agility, chance to flee battle. Stat growth. Raise your stats by fighting battles or purchasing upgrades at the Vending Grail. The Vending Grail is in the Pyramid's first chamber. The following gear is essential to your survival. Serum fully restores your life. Weapon strikes twice in battle. One use. Radar. No battles for 50 to 150 steps. And warp instantly returns to safety. The Void Pyramid is a, is a hostile dungeon, but it holds many fabulous treasures of the River Kingdom. Scavenge these priceless relics and fortune will be yours if you ever escape. I like it. It's cool. That's yeah, cool, man. It's a cool story. Void Pyramid 1.4, designed by A. Hagen. Graphics okay. Music created with O R P G C DJ C G Buckets. O H R R P G C E. <laughs> what is that? Or, 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 or role playing or game case. Or just That's what it is. That's how you say it. Okay, begin. I'm an authority on this subject. We can select our our role, our class, our job. <clears throat> we could be a slave, a soldier, or a scribe. The slave, uh, your life was hellish toil. Strong against agility, weak. Or your strength is agility. Your weakness is wits. A soldier's strength is brawn, weakness is agility. Scribe's strength is strong, strong strength strong. is width, and, and strong weakness is weakness brawn. brawn. I'm gonna be a soldier, because I mean, I feel like we're gonna need to be able to, yeah. to be strong. Let's be a soldier. What is your name? Soldier. <laughs> soldier. <laughs> That's great. Void soldier. Yeah. What's our name? But farts. Butt farts. As opposed to the other types of farts. Yes. You awake in the Void Pyramid. You must escape. I like the 8-bit wow, music. Oh my goodness, cool. I love it. Is this. the music too loud? Let us know if it's too loud, by the way. I, I have it Music. On. What's up, Barrow Claw? How you doing? You must escape. Only then can you exact 
bloody revenge on the prime pharaoh. Where am I? Oh, I'm the guy in the middle. Yeah, okay, it's escape. Tell this it, is our menu. What? That's weird. I like our little menu. We've got gear. Uh, we have. Okay. We have a weapon, a serum, and a radar. We can sort, we can discard, or we can exit. Treasures. Oh, it's picking up. Uh huh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. yeah. What uh, is uh. that? A fetus. Fetus. Yep. Um, I guess these are all the treasures, but we don't have any yet. Oh, I see. I feel like it may be too loud. Is the music too loud? Uh, instructions. Oh, I already, I already looked at the instructions. Uh, I'm glad it's still here, though. And then, music, window screen. Oh, I can turn the music down. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It's very simple. I like it. I can't find what engine. It was made by OHR RPG CE. I have no idea. Whatever that is. Sensors scan you. The vending grail whirls to life. Whirls to life. It sells various tools and cybernetic implants. Do we have any money? We have yeah, 48. You got 48. Let's get another healer. Seven. Seven. Purchase confirmed. Okay. This is the dream tomb. We can heal and save. Oops. I think we need to actually select this. Did we save it? I yeah. would prefer to have like a da -da -da, some yeah, kind of some like kind sound of effect. That you saved would be what good. is this? The warp ovum, ovum. <laughs> is dormant. Only a specifically encrypted radio transmission can activate it. That may be how we get out. The augury terminal displays pulsing hieroglyphics. Origin chamber 6 1 and it. Explosion crushed the ceiling of this chamber. It was once a grand hall. Now it is a maze of rubble. The statue depicts a Yikaria pit fighter. These humanoid yaks are prized slaves of the prime pharaoh. Okay. So it's just like we're in a collapsed pyramid, which is like a maze now. A tangle of stro stone and conduit block the path you dig into the rubble. Ooh, 20 brawn required. You only have 16. You try to lift the rubble, but are quickly exhausted. So I'm not strong enough to, like, dig through that. Acid is melted on the floor. You must leap across the pit. Oh, I see how our stats come into play. You doubt that you can leap far enough. So you have to have high enough stats to do things. What was that? Sandy gravel spills out as I pry open the crate. I got 36 money. 38 money. A vent opens in the floor beneath you. Microbots swarm out. You try to dodge away before they engulf you. Uh, 20 agility required. You have 8 agility. Make it good, scrub. The microbots wow. burrow into you. Their atomic saws disintegrate your body. The swarm carries your atoms away and reassembles you elsewhere. Wow. That's weird. So we died? N did you die? No, we got reassembled. But did you die, though? Oh, yeah, we did didn't die. die. Though? Oh, we can't. Go like where there isn't. Yeah, go there. I see where they're at. Yeah. yeah. You encounter an enemy. Uh, flea chance, uh, 75%. Insta kill chance, 25%. Reward chance, 35%. Your life chance. Let's fight it. Yeah. How's the battle system? This is wow. kind of cool. I love the pixel art style. It's kind of basic, but it's. The color scheme is weird. Yeah. Attack. The sun crow carves you with a blade. You try to transfix something. Okay, we got eight money. What's this? The Aubrey terminal displays pulsing hieroglyphics. The floor vibrates steady and you imagine a massive machinery thrumming through your feet. Huh. Okay, we can't get that treasure chest unless we have like 20 agility or something. But we can get this one. All right, okay. What is this? An energy barrier blocks your passage. Touching it will disintegrate you. You inspect its electronic components. 20 wits are required. You're unsure how to sabotage energy barrier without electrocuting yourself. Okay. Okay. Basically, I mean, I don't need to read everything. I can pretty much uh, look at the requirement and see if I have it or not. Blood Farts has got 8 out of 10. Let's attack him. 
Man, I like the music in this game. Uh -huh. It's good. It's good. It's really simple, but good. I also like that it tells you how much of each stat you need to do things. Uh-huh. Me too. Yeah, I need a 12. It's a giant bird holding a sword. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Okay, I need to use a serum. You inject the serum in your bloodstream, your life is restored. Okay, that's what I need to get first. Powdery ash, a few coins are mixed in. Some coins. 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 What is this? A vat contains primordial ooze. Scraps of moldy flesh float in the stagnant Yum. liquid. Yum. Same. The pole must be the... The roost of some bird. Feathers and droppings cover the floor at its base. Okay. What about that broken bat? Check that one out. <clears throat> the plastic window provides the chamber into two. It is covered with greasy handprints. shattered. Whatever was inside must have burst out. Hey, there's people. You bash it with your might, the door buckles and squeals open. Worms slither out. Acid dissolves everything inside. 29 Devin. Okay. Uh, do we let him out? I don't know. He looks pretty mean. Can I save it right here? Yeah, I try and save it. Oh, I can't save it here. I have to go back. Yeah. This lever operates the cell doors in this room. It's jammed. Examine the lever. Um, 15 wits required. We have 12. Okay. Oh, the full level went up. Ouch. 98, Devin. I think I need to eat another serum and stay at full because these guys are super hard right now. What is this? Prison chamber 5-2. Prison cells line the walls. You can see your breath in the frigid air. I need to get back to full level 1, I think, and go save it. Yeah, go save it. I kind of like this game. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool and very different. And the music's not annoying. Oh wait, what if I just go like this? Is it gonna put me at the beginning? No. It puts me back to wherever I walked in. Okay. You encounter an enemy and annihilate it with wow. no effort. Hey, that's cool. That's a time saver. Uh-huh. If you fight enemies that are too weak, you just smash on them. Yep. Did you check out that like blinky thing on the ground in that room? Yeah, I would like a little -ding! some yeah, kind of sound effect some would be great. Some that it worked. Mm -hmm. What that, what blinky thing? That blinky thing on the ground. Oh, can I get there? Is the question. Cause look, if I walk down, I can't get there, honey. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can't go there. this way or this way because. Right. Oh, it'll you need, just you put need me to be back. Able to resist the swarmy thingies. Yeah. What do I need again? Twenty need agility. Twenty. Yeah. Microbots disintegrate me. I guess it's kind of cool though, like if you if you just walk around a little bit, you start completely annihilating enemies. Yeah, yes. that's really neat. Here we go, a little bit harder fight. <laughs> There's no experience, huh? It's just life and... Oh, you know what I should do? Well, your stats go up. Do they go up? Sure. Or, like, your enemies wouldn't be easier to fight, right? I don't know. Your dungeon stats, brawn, wits, and agility. How are they going up? I don't know. Let's Do check they it go out. up 16, randomly? 12, and 8. Okay. Let's 
see if I don't think they've off. gone up at all. Oh, we got a crit. Yeah, they don't appear to go up, but I have a lot of money. Maybe buying new gear will mm -hmm. give me stat increases. What is this, the store? Here we go. Yeah, look, we buy stat increases. Cool. So you could get three increases. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy a couple of serums, life, um, attack, defense, brawn, wits, agility. Where does this so? Okay. I think defense is gonna be good. Well, brawn would be great because we insta smash things, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We went soldier, so let's capitalize on our strength. Two more brawn, and we can get past that other thing. The little, um, the first thing I encountered, the little electric tile or whatever it is. Cool. Just annihilate it. Nice. This game is pretty cool. So here's full level two. I'm gonna maybe grind a little bit. Can we go in here? The freezer coil radiates bitter cold. Touching it would kill you. Wow. You are at the entrance of a massive freezer. Humanoid shapes lurk in the shadowy depths. The frozen food must draw them here. You will encounter more enemies here. Ah, if you want to grind, there's yeah. a spot for it. I guess the game predicted you're gonna need to do that at some nice. point. The game is designed well. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, Please kill him. Die. Don't die. Here. Okay, so it costs 25 to use that. Smashed him with no effort. Nice. I will fight him. He goes faster than me, I guess, when he hits me first. I'm glad they die in one hit. Yeah. The chest is crusted with ice. You scrape away at it. You need 15 brawn, but we have 18, so yep. no problem. We have 18 brown, so we, we got a couple it. of warps. That's good. That's really good. Same story. 56 money. Okay. Okay. What about this guy? Frozen slave grimaces in horror. They're just frozen. Yeah. The one in the middle looks different. Oh no, he survived. Uh oh. Oh ho ho ho. With one HP. Oh gosh. You better heal. I think I should use a warp, right? Yeah. Gear. Return to Dream Tomb. You discharge a warp of vortex sucks through the ether. Yeah, so I can go here. Nope, this one. And it gives me full HP and lets me save again. Yeah. Alright, and then I have some money. The warps are 25, which I like, so we'll buy another warp. Should we'll buy three serums. One, two, ah, well, we'll oh, get, two. get two. Oh, you get two, yeah. See, I need 20 brawn to let me go up there. Hey, now I can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. I think I need more life, honestly, because they hit, or maybe defense. Probably so both. I mean, I'm gonna get hit, and eventually I'm gonna run out of, like, money, I guess. I can go back and uh, grind on easy creatures. What do I need for this? It needs 15 wits. Wow. Fight it. Oh, I haven't Ooh. seen this one. Get him, butt farts. That looks ugly. Oh, we got a critical hit. I like how it just him. deflates. Like a... Like a... Like a pool toy. Yeah, it just melts. Yeah. <laughs> the sound effects are a bit much. They all sound like they're punishing you. Is it too loud? Or is it just the, the sound effects themselves? A cable spans the narrow crevice. You step cautiously onto it. Ten agility. You do not trust your balance. We don't have enough agility. Can't either. go that way yet. Yeah. We need wits to get rid of those.
99. Wow. wow. That was a good fight. Yep, that was like a rare drop or something. The ceiling collapses. You narrowly avoid a cascade of rubble. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. They spit venom on me. Hopefully poison's not a thing. So you have five life left. You might want to heal. Heartless says the BGM loop and SE are too much. I don't know. I kind of like them. Yeah, I kind of like it too. I think they're about right. Yep. Hey, we broke it open because we had enough brawn. I could care less about the sound effects or like, you know, yeah, take it or leave it. But the music I like. <gasps> I think the sound effects are needed. You find a 1x question mark ticket? Huh. A couple of weapons. Wait, did that, that chest didn't even disappear. Uh. Is that a bug? Stop spitting on me. Yeah, that's gross, dude. Wait, let's check this chest again. The crate has a false bottom. Beneath it is a compartment. Lined with scales, you find a snake. Oh, nice. what does that do? It's a treasure, right? It's one of the treasures. Look, we have the snake treasure. Like, does it do anything? Bound in junction chamber 62 cybernetic implant animates the mummified snake. It writhes and bears, bars its fangs. I think it's just like these are the collectibles. Oh, like okay. your goal is to get all the treasures, and that's how you win. Huh, or you can't, you like can't move that rubble yet. Nah, oh, well, let's try. Hard. Actually, I didn't try. Oh, no. They hit so hard. That's the problem you're I have. You're gonna here. die. Oh, oh you're no. dead. Oh, Gear. Uh, Sarah. <gasps> he goes before me, though. Yeah. Oh, Rip. my gosh. You are killed. A warrior drags your corpse into the dream tomb. You return to life. The warrior stole all of your gear. All? I had a lot of gear. Except the question mark. The gambling machine. That stinks. It's so expensive. I know. That, that's like not cool. I had like, like orbs. Like one thing might be okay. I had things. a lot of stuff. Yeah. I want to quit. I want to load. That's, that's bogus. I'd say that's a little bit much. Like, because you want a player to be motivated to continue playing your game. You don't right. want to take all their stuff. Damn. Yeah. I had a radar. I had, like, three weapons. I think two warps. Eight serums. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot. Um, you want to try it? No. No? Okay. So the last time you saved, it was before. It, you, you bought more serums. You might want to grab some Oh, yeah, some I more. did. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's random. You you lose something, but what you lose is random. I like that it gives you the option to keep playing though with the random. With you know, you have a random penalty. You might lose money. You might lose uh, all of your treasures. You might lose something else. Or nothing. Or nothing. But. A switch is hidden in the pillar. You pull it and hear metal grinding. Ah, I saw the little thing. That's cool. Okay. 38 money. There it is. <laughs> oh, look, it turns it off. I wonder if just adding to your defense would make a difference. Because you just get hit too hard. That's the problem I see here. Yeah. They go before you, and they hit too hard. Well, they don't always go before you. It depends on the agility, I guess, of them. Yeah. Cool. Don't die. Gotta use one of those. Soon. After getting some stuff, you might want to save. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> what? 
chest is packed with old papyrus crumbles you sift through, you find one adrenal. Whoa, your speed, your speed in speed battle. battle increases? Did that, that happen last time too? No? Do you have to use it? I, I don't know. I think it's an item it's you like can passive. use in battle. That's lame. It takes your turn though. I guess if it's a very long boss fight, it's useful, but yeah. otherwise, no. have been dropping some good loot. No, you can save and load, but when you die, you don't... It's not game over. You get a random penalty, and you can keep playing with what you did if you accept that random penalty, or you can quit and load from where you last saved. So it's really cool and that it gives you the option. Yeah. Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty good, actually. I like that. But I keep going back and saving, because... I don't like the penalty yeah, of losing gets, all the time. more defense. I should get defense, huh? Yeah. Well, defense, defense. And then... I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna get more... I could have gotten two brawn and, and got the, gone up. Right. But I think defense is really important. Look, I got hit for one that time. Nice. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, and our agility increased. Just so there like, is leveling. Right, but it's random. Yeah. It's not like you get experience and then when it's you get drop. to... Yeah, it's like it counts as like a Skinner box thing. You know, you could get a stat increase from fighting. That's cool. I actually really like this game. This is really cool. Heartless says this game is not for me. <laughs> I love this sort of dungeon crawler. It's alright. Nah, you're free to express... Express yourself. There, I only got hit for two when it hit me like for five. That's great. Our brawn increased by one. Whoa, you just leveling up. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. I think the first thing you should do is get defense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one more. Another agility increase. How about that? That's fantastic. I'm gonna go back because that's full level three there. <laughs> Ceiling just keeps collapsing in front mm -hmm. of you. Oh no. Oh, you better heal. He usually dies in two hits though. I've never missed. Yeah. I like that you never miss. Yes, that's good. Missing is annoying. You can strategize that way. Strategy. Strategy. 20 witch required, but you could also use 20 bronze, but I only have 19. So oh, close. But this one's 15 because it's cracked. We got a shield. Hey, that wasn't there last time. It's random. Nice. The loot is randomized. Except for, I bet, treasures. Yeah, this is where we got the snake. The treasures yeah. are in that location for sure. Oh, I need one more so brawn to get there. Maybe we get into a fight and get yeah. one brawn. I think you have the money for it. Yeah, I do. I'll use a warp and, uh... I'll get into one more fight though, so because I can heal for free if I use a warp. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Mm Shield blocks a vital hit. Wow, cool. Oh. So it's like a passive item. Yeah, that adrenal item I found probably just works yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yep, these are just passives. Nice, so all the, what about the snake thing? That's not on there, okay. 
That's a treasure. Yeah, that's a treasure. That's right here. Okay. Okay. Bleh. Can you go down? Yeah, but I have a feeling it's gonna be level three. Oh. Um, Alright, let's just go. No level. Oh, that's where you start. You can jump over if you have 20 agility. Wow. You find a doll. Okay. 98. 98. That was Dang. for no effort. It's just random. Really just random. So you, you just need one more brawn. You yeah. gotta go back and get one more brawn. Yeah, but I have to walk all the way around or I smash this rock. But you need one more brawn. Yeah. To do that. <laughs> It's like that whole you need a work experience to get a job as an intern. But you, yeah, you need to get a job sense. in order to get work experience. You need a job to get work. You need a, you need work to get a job. Work experience to get a job. A little too much RNG? I don't know. I kind of like it. I feel like getting one more brawn. One more attack, one more defense. Do I have 300? I have 400. One brawn, one attack, one defense. Uh, come on, give me a brawn. All right, we're gonna walk back. Okay. Get those stats. But then when we wanna proceed, we can just smash our way up and not mm -hmm. have to walk around. Right. You might want to heal. Yeah. Maybe get, just use or a warp. Or I'll just use a warp. Yeah, just use a warp. Okay, that was the plan originally. Alright, we can heal, we can save. Let's upgrade our stats. The game gives a decent amount of character progression, so, like, it's a different type of genre. It's not an R it's not like a side battle R RPG game, so Right. It's just a turn based thing. Well Heartless is asking since when does Drifty like insane RNG in combat with zero skills and just attacks, but this isn't the same type of setup at all. Yeah, this isn't this is different from what I've played before. Yeah. Oh, shoot, that worked. You had the brawn to do it. Yeah. The torches ex our extinguished inky blackness fills the quiet hall. You will encounter no enemies here. Huh. Alright. Why is my phone ringing? I don't my know. It never rings. It's twice. The cat wears a glittering bobble around its neck. You try to grab the bobble before the cat war warps again. 15 agility required. The cat avoids your clumsy fumbling. <laughs> okay. What? I tried, okay, so it needed 20 agility, but it made me do it anyway. I only had 10, so I touched the laser and triggered an alarm as siren wails and the torches flash. You hear the scampering of small feet. The alarm has alerted a gang of marmosets. Marmosets? Okay. A hologram shimmers in the air. I am Connie, the world's most beautiful holographic woman. Sit and chat with me, your handsome, you handsome devil. And chat and learn that Connie loves cute things. Try bringing her some. You show Connie the doll, she giggles with delight. I adore furless cats. I love how they constantly shiver, and I love stroking their wrinkly skin. If only this cat were real and not just a doll. You gotta catch the cat. Yeah. Okay, we don't have enough for that. We got a weapon. Like that. The marmoset claws at your backpack. He steals some Devin and scampers away. What? Lame. Yeah. Stupid marmoset. I think the saving grace for the game is that it gives you such fast character progression. So like, it gives you the motivation to continue to continue on because yeah. like you're gonna progress. You know, you're you're just you're building constantly. Even when you die, I mean, you get uh, a penalty but it's randomized what the penalty is, and you, you may not lose your progress completely. Yeah. So if you haven't been saving, it's not just start over again. You may have to buy your items back, but we'll see. Yep. Uh, you gotta get rid of them marmosets. Check in that hole. 
The marmoset creeps from the shadows. He leaps at you. They keep stealing your money. Yeah. Flush that door open. What do you need to get the cat? Uh, 20 agility. What? Yeah, the statue depicts a winged deity. He is scarred by lashes and pox. The statue bears an inscription. Pernifer, patron of slaves. The reliquary is lined with soft hair and skin. You gained 87. Yeah. Ow, he hits hard. I'm gonna go first and use a serum because I have six of them. Damn. He's a tuppy. Would have been better to attack him, but I didn't want to die. Hieroglyphics are scrawled on the wall in a surprisingly insightful political cartoon about the hypocrisy of the prime pharaoh. <laughs> Maybe you should um, warp back. Huh? You should warp back and get your stats up. Well, how much do I have? I only have 240. You walk through an electrum arcway. It is polished by to a mirror sheen. Okay. 55 monies. The corpse is crushed. There is probably a trap close by. You avoid stepping near the body. What is this? The stairs descend into a fetid crawl space. You crawl through mounds of le leathery old corpses. You climb back into the light. Okay. Scorpions come out. There's a dude up there. Yeah. This chamber is a cathedral. Hanging censers seep aromatic haze. Aromatic haze. Scorpions scuttle along the walls and floors. Instant kill. Nice. What's your life right now? Uh, I'll tell you right now. The worn tombstone is barely legible. Ragib, ragab, the soil. He befouls the river kingdom no longer. You wonder if this grave contains riches. Do we dig up the grave? Hell yeah. Dig it up. You dig up the grave, the corpse will wear sticking rags. Vampiric lice swarm out and burrow under your skin. You will die shortly unless you return to the dream tomb for immediate <laughs> Now it's time, time to warp. Right <laughs> you warp. Yeah. Wait, Gear. Any loot? Gear. Warp. How much time do you have? I don't know, but <laughs> probably not a lot. Okay, well, that uh, that healed us. Let's settle that. Uh, bring your stats up a bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we get? Um, attack and defense is good. I think, uh, I don't know. I'd like to catch that cat, but that's going to cost a thousand Devin. Um, I'm going to go to just go for attack and defense. I don't know. I feel like I'm done. This is a pretty good game. Yeah, it's pretty I, cool. I've seen enough to see what it is. It's a pretty good... Uh, it's a fun RPG. I think it's a fantastic uh, showcase of how to do a dungeon crawler in a very unique way. I haven't seen many games, you know, done like this. It reminds me of an old DOS game that I would play as a kid, so it's very nostalgic in that way. The pixel art is good. The 8-bit music I like. The sound effects are... Like, reminiscent of, like, you know, like the late 90s yeah. computer games. Yep. Uh, I really like it. I think it's a really, really good game. Thumbs up to the devs. Uh, fantastic job. This is a great example of how you can be really simplistic in a game and still make it enjoyable. Yeah. It, it was really fun. Yeah. Even when I died, I didn't have to start over. I could have took that penalty. Mm -hmm. But um, that's, that's a good thing to add to any RPG, I think. Let the music, or let the let the game continue if you accept a penalty, but give them the option to load if they don't like that penalty or if it's too harsh. Yeah. Especially if it's RNG. I'm a huge fan of options. So like, you have one demographic that feels this way, you have the other demographic that feels that way. Why not add both? Right. You could have both. Yep. And this game does. Yep. The music's good too. It doesn't get old. Uh, I'm sure it's not a very long uh, clip, and it mm -hmm. it feels like. Uh, it's simple. It's simple. It's kind of like 8-bit, maybe 16-bit, but it's it's really good. Yeah. And uh, I think it's a fantastic showcase. Have your cake 10. and eat it too, says Alan. 10 out of 10 would, would gain this a game again. I don't do the scores, <laughs> but I, I do say thumbs up. Yeah, uh, yeah, I say thumbs up. Definitely. It's a good game. 
If you'd like us to play your game on stream, that's the reward for the $20 tier of our Patreon. Links are in the description below. You could also join the Discord and tr uh, trade credits that you earn with the Discord bot that we coded for uh, a first impressions video. No money required. Play our game, we play your game, pretty much. I mean, it's not going to like, you know, it's not the next Undertale, but it's, it's definitely a fun game, Justin. I think it's great. Um... I don't know how long I'd be able to play it, right? There's a certain amount of, of uh, there's a certain amount of uh, patience you have with this sort of thing, but it, it would be good to see if you can find all the treasures. A uh, little challenge to yourself if you ha if you don't have a lot of games. Uh, this, of course, there's just a million games to play, so I don't know. <laughs> it, it does something. A million that, games to play, a million things to do. Yeah. Not enough time. Yeah. It, it does have some sort of nostalgia feel to it. It kind of brings me brings me back a little bit, which gives points, I guess, to younger yeah. kids. They won't appreciate that as much. Right. All right, guys. I'm going to read the, the names off the chat. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. I really appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow, 2 o'clock EST. We're going to be gone on Thursday because we have appointments and whatnot. Busy, busy week. Uh, I'm doing some other side projects for Patreon backers, and that's taking up some time. Baby always takes a lot of time. Uh, and doctor's appointments. I have to do an MRI sometime this month, so it's going to be real busy. But um, we'll be back tomorrow, 2 o'clock EST, and we'll be on Friday as well. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Ekaterina Stednikova, Alan Real, Justin Gibson, VeroClaw23, Heartless Angel, um, anybody who I didn't mention. We got to go, but uh, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. All the lurkers. Can you scroll up the chat? Maybe I could. Yeah. Uh, who else did we not mention? Miraclaw, we said. Touch the dust. Uh, yes. Uh, Babaka, and... you said there's someone down there you missed. Was it? Oh, yeah. Hey, Baka. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Baka. Hey, Baka. Nat, thank you so much. Flesh to Dust. Alan Real. Eric Farr, thank you so much for coming. Blood Tree UK, thank you so much. Red Phoenix, appreciate you. Cosmic Nobab, Alexander Burkle. See you guys. Guy Shuford. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guy Shuford. Thank y'all for coming. Bye bye. Bye.